cancel a service or an order, do you just assume it'll be canceled? Well, as 2 News problem solver Pete Knutson tells us, assuming can cost you. After a long day at work as a computer software writer, Ryan Gillette would wind down by going to the gym. He and his wife would both go to Gold's Gym in Broken Arrow. A year and a half ago, though, his wife canceled her membership, which turned out to be worse, Ryan says, than a pulled muscle. It was incredibly frustrating. Why? Ryan says their memberships were billed automatically every month to different credit cards. Recently, he says he discovered the gym was still charging for his wife's canceled membership. The charges totaled $650. Until then, Ryan says he assumed the charges were for his membership. So he called a customer service rep. She went and found the original contract and said, yeah, you did cancel on that date for your wife, so you're entitled to a full refund. But Ryan says he never got the refund, so he called again. And then when I called them back, said that they were not going to give me any kind of full refund and that there was some kind of a 90-day clause where I had 90 days to catch any erroneous billing. We touched base with corporate headquarters about Ryan's billing issue. A representative researched his account. Since they had the cancellation paperwork, they told Ryan he would get a full refund. Fortunately, he kept a copy of that cancellation form, which helped get his problem solved. One thing he didn't do, Ryan says, was keep a close eye on his credit card and bank statements and his bills that are paid automatically. He'll do that from now on, he says, to catch any mistakes and correct them before it's too late. Pete Knutson, 2 News, works for you.